Hi, so I've been instructed in making some LED strip lights, which is pretty straightforward, you would think so, right? You get some profiles, some diffusers, LED strips, and off you go. Now, there's, there are two things that I wanted to achieve, basically. One is that it should not look like crap. So, here I fucked up a little bit, because I cut off a bit of profile to make room for wires, so I can interconnect these strips. But, yeah, you should have drilled these. So the idea is that you have some table, right? And these strips will be mounted on, like, some shelf or something like that. So, it's a very slim thing, basically, and... Question is, how do you, like, turn it on? Now, even if this thing is, like, floating in the air somewhere, I want this... I want this uh, light to be, like, local, so you don't go to some place on the wall and enable it there or something like that. It should be like right where you want it to be. So I looked around and I was thinking like maybe I can use lamp something like this. It's like pretty slim and I can have some micro switch there and like you tap it under the light so if you have this thing like so you like tap it somewhere here to turn it on. But like where? It's very long so this is not very intuitive at all. So I went to hardware store and I found some like very small switches, like something like this, but still, this is very long strip, where, where are you going to look for this? So you can implement some touch sensor, or so this would pretty much be able to work because you have like long ground plane, but like tapping something up that's like meh. So then I, then I found this switch which is like, you have string and you like pull it down, which like doesn't have to be long and you can like see it and you can... It's, it's quite intuitive, I would say, kinda. It's not perfect, but it's fine. But then again, the problem that it shouldn't look like shit. So you have this switch and it's like, it's tall you could probably like make some some system of pulleys but still it's 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 very tall even like if you try to have it low profile and also it's like nah it should be really integrated like into the thing if it would be like so local so i reused this mechanism but i kind of made my own switch and it is integrated completely into here, like, as evidenced by this hole for a pin. So, you can basically, this is string line and you can turn it on and off. It should be quite sturdy. I mean, you can see that there is some, like, some, like, thing that I could have done better. But that's besides the point. And this video is definitely not about light design, because, like, it's not, like, great, but I wanted to just demonstrate the circuit, because I think it's quite useful. But if you want to see what's inside, there's basically micro switch, and there is simple lever mechanism with, like, piece of PCB, and then some spacers. Now, this section could have looked a lot nicer, but only if I knew what I was doing, because I didn't know that I would have this problem. So I could probably leave some more space here, move this a little tiny bit so I can connect this like connector maybe here, or like nicer connector, but, but I ended up with these wires like flapping in the breeze, which is not great. So here's the prototype of the circuit, and you may ask, but why am I using like discrete parts when I could like use half of the PCB with microcontroller. And this is by design, because I did not have to order any of this stuff. So this transistor does not have to be like so big, and you can improve the layout much more. Now here is a circuit by EV Block. It's kinda better than mine, actually, but mine uses only NMOSFETs, which was my goal, basically. So, for example, zero power went off. NAF all! Half a bee's dick! Mine does actually draw some power, in order of microamps, which might be unacceptable for you, but it is what it is. 
Then there's one on off switch, which is correct. Stand blown, yep, pretty much. Jelly bean, yep, only end MOSFETs and minimal parts. Well, asterisk there as well, because it can be done with three transistors for some applications, but in some case you may need four transistors, which is not great, but yeah, let's have a look, I guess. So this is the, so this is EV block circuit, which is, uses PMOSFET and that's how he can get out with like no power because this is like, because this part, when it is in an off position, it draws no power basically. And there is like no, nothing on this side that is actively must be kept down. So that's very nice design. But I usually don't have P MOSFETs and he could use M MOSFETs here, but used BJTs and I don't have BJTs on hand too. Also 22 mic cups are quite high to my likings really. Now here's my circuit and as you can see it's quite simple too. There's three transistors, four resistors and five and one capacitor. And also this is 100 nanofarad, so it's it's pretty nice to do this with SMD components. The disadvantage is that, as you can see here, it draws about 20 microamps when off, which is not great. I guess you can like you can like increase value of these high value resistors to get like lower current draw, but still it's you wouldn't get zero. Now in theory you can replace this 100 ohm resistor with your load and this must be reasonably low power load because if you try to use high power there it doesn't switch so if, if I switch this to 10 ohms it doesn't switch really. So it has to be low power. If you want to use high power, you can feed, you can add another transistor here and drive its gate from this point. So that's also a disadvantage, kinda. Now what's nice about this circuit is that when you press the switch, of course it switches, but when you measure this point, the voltage is static. So that means that it doesn't oscillate. So if I increase simulation speed, you can see that you can press this repeatedly and it has some like debouncing uh, integrated so it doesn't switch like it doesn't blink too fast basically so you can push the button repeatedly like madman and it it will hold the state so the oscillation also doesn't start in both on and off states so that's also pretty nice so i could probably yeah i will Now if you add scope to this, uh, to this resistor, you can see that on transition is pretty nice. And pressing on switch while being debounced doesn't have really bad effects on it. Though you can see that when you press the switch repeatedly while in off state there are some spikes, so that's, that may be not what you want really. In that case, when you add a new transistor here, this doesn't happen really. So yeah, I guess this circuit it doesn't compete with the one that EV block presented, but the advantage is that I have it designed to fit my parts that I usually keep by hand, so I like it.